How chiropractic works, part four. One of the other ways we can assess proprioception in addition to the finger to nose test is by using balance. We can use balance as a pre-measurement before treatment, and we can use balance as a post-measurement after treatment. Using real world examples, we chiropractors can test, evaluate, and assess the patients in the office using this simple test. Some of you sadly may have performed this test under the supervision of a police officer. It's known as a heel to toe test. Balance encompasses a lot of sensory inputs from muscles and joints. What's great about this test is you can perform this test at home or work right now. It's harder than it looks. Simply close your eyes, walk in a straight line. Keep your feet straight, no V stance. Try to keep your arms close to your body and keep your head up. Walk for 15 to 20 steps. If you fail this test, you may have problems with an injured muscle or joint causing abnormal sensory inputs. On this patient, I perform a heel to toe test and notice her instability. Tongue depressors are placed to gap her left TMJ or jaw, which makes her balance worse. Tongue depressors are repositioned to gap her right jaw and notice how her balance improves. An adjustment is then performed on her right jaw. I re-perform her heel to toe test. Her balance is better and her mood has improved. As chiropractors, if we can correct injured muscles, disarticulating joints, or abnormal reflexes, we can improve a patient's life by creating a more appropriate motor program, increasing their strength, balance, coordination, timing, while simultaneously decreasing their pain, anxiety, and modulating the autonomic nervous system. Are chiropractic and massage equally effective for back pain? No. I speak as both a chiropractor and as a massage therapist. Notice how stroking the patient's right foot causes a facial tick. This tick is abnormal. I place tongue depressors to gap her jaw. This inhibits or tones down the facial tick. I put the tongue depressors to gap her right jaw and restroke her right foot. The tick is still present. I replace the tongue depressors to gap her left jaw and stroke her right foot again. Gapping of the patient's left jaw or TMJ inhibits her facial response. I perform some massage on her TMJ, which temporarily inhibits her facial tick. I take a break and invite some doctors into the room. When we go back over her case and I re-demonstrate the stroke for the doctors, the facial tick has returned. This is to demonstrate that while massage is a very powerful tool, in certain instances, its benefits are temporary. Massage does not have the lasting effects that a chiropractic or spinal manipulation does. The reason for this has to do with the way neurons make proteins when stimulated. The adjustment stimulates neurons to a greater degree than does a massage. One of the interesting things to note here is that Joe, Yvette, and Miles tell us that massage, rolfing, physical therapy, osteopathy, and physiatry work. There's a bunch of people that are chiropractors that do use some valid methods for rehabilitation. Right. There's a lot of them that use deep tissue massage. A lot of them uh, use uh, rolfing. Go to a massage therapist. Go to a, uh, to a physical therapist. Or just as good as a regular massage. Massage, rolfing, physical therapy, osteopathy, physiatry, all use proprioception. Then they boldly tell us chiropractic does not work and chiropractic uses proprioception. And then I've been having a little bit of trouble with my left arm. I, I saw you about this a while ago and then I hadn't seen you for a while because you were traveling, but um, my left arm's still kind of a little funky. On your back, it's Bobby's coming in for shoulder pain. However, his shoulder is not the problem. It's the muscles around the shoulder that aren't firing properly. His muscle coordination and timing are off, causing shoulder pain. The muscles, in this case his left latissimus dorsi, are inhibited due to his left jaw, and his left pectoralis is inhibited due to the deactivation of a pathway that is stimulated with head movement. You're going to look at each rib as it goes in front of your nose. Just like that. Okay. I don't think you have a shoulder pain. Yeah, I think what you have is a, you have a lack of the pathways that are supporting the muscles firing appropriately when we did that with the red and white yeah that was cool so that fires up certain pathways in the brain and that helped that was incredible because um when you first tested my left side of my at my arm it felt like literally i, had, I couldn't have lifted a two pound dumbbell and then when you finished i felt like it feels almost strong again like not 100 percent but Really, really, really different. That's but something, get get yourself to a physical therapist. I, I've seen, a, I saw a physical therapist where I thought did a good job. So at least he got me out of some pain when you were gone. But nothing like this. This has been amazing. I mean, just amazing. Of people who have sent us anecdotes uh, saying, you know, I was in miserable pain and my chiropractor was the only thing that worked. And it's like, maybe you needed to get a, you know, 
get to physical therapy for longer term pain. But these people that are still going to their chiros, it means they're still in pain and they should go to a physical therapist for, you know, a couple months of therapy.